going to shave her head for an amazing cause, donate all her hair. Look at it. Let's see it. Renee, how many children are going to benefit from this? I could, I could actually cry. Um, <laughs> so come on over and donate to this great cause. All the monies are going, of course, to that gorgeous monument that's uh, for fallen riders in Two Hills, Alberta. Come on over, everybody. Open up your wallets. We know that this is a great cause, and uh, the more money is raised is awesome. Renee, do you want to say a few words? I'm, I'm speechless right now with the generosity of the Alberta riders that have helped me so far. We're really working hard at making this fallen riders monument at Wayside Park in Two Hills, Alberta, that this young man here, Bob Ross, has uh, spent nine years of his life working towards. So we really want to see the monument become a reality. And there's enough hair here for two little girls for wigs. So we're going to ask to start off. We want somebody with a donation, and it can't be like $5. We want a substantial donation to be the first person to do the cut, the first cut. And then everybody that wants to do a donation can then also cut a chunk of my hair. So, aha, see now there's a serious donation. $100 from Bikers Against Child Abuse. Thank you so much, Tobacco. And come on up here, Tony, because you're going to get to do the first cut. Okay, we're going to meet Oh my God, the show is going to donate $100 as well. $200? So, the challenge is out. Power Sports Services and the Edmonton Motorcycle Show is donating $200, and they're looking for a match. So we're going to make sure that Laurie gets a chance to cut a chunk of my hair off. Okay, guys. I'm going to pass over the mic back to Lori. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting this great cause. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to being bald, because bald is beautiful. All right, everyone, give it up for Renee again. She is such an amazing woman in this industry. Um, motorcycle hosts from all across Canada benefit from what you do out there all the time, daily. So we appreciate it. And of course, I could cry because what you're doing is amazing for two little girls out there. Way to go back up for $100. The show is donating $200. Come on, everybody, donate big and uh, let's raise some money. Guys, come on, donate big. All oh, right, Bill, are you going to take a sniff of Renee's hair? Come on. Here come we on go. Here. Where's the bucket? I got the bucket? Awesome. Come on, everyone, this is a great cause. Awesome, here we go. Great support, great things happening in this province. Yep, yep. An amazing monument. All monies, all proceeds to that. And of course, Renee, thankfully, these, this hair supporting two little girls out there, that's um, more than words can really say. So everybody open up your wallets and donate big. Thank you for coming out to the show, of course. Deep 
Oh, we have another person who's going to do a snip. Come on up. Come on up. Absolutely. Come on, you can do it. It's for a good cause. Oh, she's going bald. Thank you, everyone, for your generosity. Of course, all proceeds are going for that monument for fallen riders. And again, Renee is donating your hair for two little girls with cancer so that they can have wigs. It's an amazing, amazing initiative. So, way to go. She helps riders every day and now little girls too. <laughs> An amazing woman, thank you. Renee, and of course, also known as Belt Drive Betty. Oh, we have another donator here. Awesome. Wonderful. Oh, oh yeah, thank Bill you, Nicole. Every woman in the crowd's <laughs> cringing right now. Yeah, I just wanted to make a special acknowledgement here today. We had an $800 contribution from the Howling Coyote Motorcycle Campground today. So. Thank you. I also want to make a special acknowledgement to the Iron Order Motorcycle Club, Snow City Crew, and the Stampede City Crew. Last weekend in Calgary, between the two riding clubs, they donated $450 to the head shave. Do you guys have any idea how weird this feels? Shields is that he was supposed to be here from Blackjack's Roadhouse. If Clarence is in the house, I'm trying to save one block for you to cut, buddy. <laughs> Colette, our wonderful hairdresser here, let's give her a round of applause, please. She volunteered her time to come down and do this. And she was just saying that if she left it now, it would make an awesome mullet. <laughs> Vikings Against Child Abuse, stepping up to help us more. I'm down. No. You're slow. Folks, we're getting down to the last little bit here. If anybody else wants to come up, a $10, $20 donation. We'd love to have you come and cut a lock of my hair off. 13 pieces left. Come on, Polly Wog. You should get up here. You donated 60 bucks to me. Paul Rollins from Celtic Rider Motorcycle Rental Resort. He donated $60 to me just a little bit ago, so he's here to take a snip. Oh. 
We've got another donation. Thank you very much to another BACA member. <laughs> so just between the elastic and our neck. Okay. You're next. That's awesome. Here. I don't know what to do with it. There you go. The top of your head is blonde, the back of your head is great. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. And that's quite all right. <laughs> I've got eight locks of hair left to be cut. Yeah, now seven. Come on up, So since the motorcycle show is kindly donating $200, Brittany, why don't you come up? And I'm so, I'm so gray underneath all of this beautiful hair, so come on, girl. We've got five locks left. If there's anybody else willing to uh, do a, another small donation, if not, call up. Just keep on coming. One left. I'm now for the buzz job. Oh yeah. Thank God I brought a tube. I just wanted to let everybody know that we know we're pretty close to $7,000 raised towards the monument. So I want to thank the Alberta Riders from the bottom of my heart for helping make Bob Ross's dream come true.
bit above the ears and you'll be good. really strange I've never seen that before but the entire back of your head is gray and the whole front is blonde and has this beautiful color to it and it's just I've never seen that usually it's the front that goes first the back is gone should have been that last Ireland ride too oh uh, yeah there's that too <laughs> and and focus you're just gonna walk or give it up <laughs> You get one more. There we go, folks. Just on. There we go. I just want to take this opportunity to thank this wonderful woman here, Belt Drive Betty. She has done so much to support the Alberta motorcycling community. And this Fallen Riders project that has been a, a, a personal project of mine for the last few years, get this happening. This woman is amazing. I want to hear a big round of applause for her. Please, thank you. <laughs> Everyone that's involved in motorcycling sooner or later is touched by fallen riders. That's, that's, uh, motorcycling is inherently a, a dangerous like, pastime. Sooner or later, this monument is going to affect everybody. And I'm so glad for all of the support that we've been getting on this and I want everybody to know that the park will be open this spring for the riding community please come out use it chapel bathrooms whatever free camping facilities there for uh, outdoor uh, receptions uh, prayer services whatever you need those facilities are there next year we'll be unveiling the monument and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you all out there thank you again thank you so much